It's day two of the Future Blockchain Summit. I'm Ronella Hernandez, and I'm here with Sebastian Borge, who is the co-founder and COO of The Sandbox. How's it going? Everything great. Yeah, you I like the it. conference so far? Yes, I love it, love it. Can you share any insights that maybe you've learned from the past couple days? So, I just arrived this morning in Dubai. I'm this morning? to the conference. Okay. I can see how active it is. Like, I think it's grown even bigger than last year, and a whole, all is about like web free and metaverse and NFT project. People can see uh, concretely. Uh, there was a lot of attendance uh, at my fireside chat as well as I just had before. So, can you tell me a little bit about what you spoke up on there? Well, generally speaking, like how we're delivering about the metaverse, what we've announced recently, what we've launched, why brands and creators are coming, all of that. And uh, I'm really excited to see like how actually. The MENA region and Asia are driving the growth of the metaverse at the moment. Like, they now represent more than 40% of the business in Sandbox, which has grown to over 5 million users, 230 studios around the world that are building, 50,000 creators. Uh, in the last 12 months, we had 1 million unique users who came and visited the experiences. So, little by little, we're building audience, creator, content ecosystem, okay, while we update our products. Let's break that down a little bit. Yes. Is the metaverse akin to gaming? Like, do, can you say that that is the same thing when it comes to Web3? So, I think like the metaverse is much broader than gaming. Like, it enables all sorts of like interaction. It's actually a new form of uh, interaction, like avatar centric. You essentially come there to socialize with other people, but there is gamification mechanics in place, like completing quests, playing together, ra running, racing, fighting earning points and climbing in leaderboards to earn rewards. And all of that is generating more engagement. Uh, people are coming back or spending more time in the experience. Typically, brands and partners who launch in Sandbox see their audience spend like 30 minutes to one hour in an experience, which is a lot of user uh, attention and, and time. Which... Okay, and what are some of the best experiences that you have in the Sandbox? Like, can you give me some examples, some of your favorite ones? Oh, well, I love, for example, uh, of course, what Snoop Dogg has done, uh, the experience from Steve Aoki, who launched Avatar Collection, uh, a running racing game at his own house that he <laughs> augmented. Uh, he launched even a, a game jam competition where he invited people to create games with him and expand. We love what Ledger did, in, like how they've been educating around Web3 and security, in a very gamified manner, launching their characters, their equipment and more. It's hard to point one. I play everything that launch. People can who follows me on social media. They can see what I play, and uh, I was impressed by the amount of creativity that we find in our community. Definitely, definitely. And do you think that just because the hype has died down, that maybe has affected the number of daily users or not? So, well, again, here it's hard to answer that question just from like a single point of view. Like the world is global. There's it's much more connected than we think, and it's not just like US or Europe anymore. So maybe in US and Europe, we've seen a decrease of the user attention or the hype in media. Doesn't mean like, like uh, engagement. But from the side of Asia, MENA region, here today, the traction is here. Like people are still launching projects, onboarding, we're announcing new partnership regularly in Sandbox. Uh, you can see the booth of the VARA, the Virtual Asset Regulator of Dubai, and they have an experience being showcased in Sandbox. So they build it, they launch it, and people can see it. It's one of the many examples uh, that excite me a lot. We've seen Thailand, Singapore, Turkey, uh, Saudi Arabia recently. I was there and we had a, a local announcement of establishing a presence and uh, growing a local ecosystem to build and bring partners in the metaverse. Is Saudi trying to be a uh, gaming hub? I think so. I think like they have really a very young uh, population that's eager to like entertain, engage in sport, media, entertainment and gaming. Uh, it's being pushed by the prince himself. He's very uh, strong player himself. He's part of their 2030 plan. That's why they announced many uh, uh, partnership, investment, acquisition, and Metaverse is definitely part of their roadmap, creating a local industry that will build experiences showing the rich Arabic culture 
but not only for the local audience, but making it accessible to a global okay. audience. Yeah. That's really what they want to achieve and where Sandbox can be a great partner. Okay, and would you consider the UAE and Dubai to be a video gaming hub? I do think so. I, I feel like uh, Dubai is a strong like business and finance hub. And there's Abu Dhabi that's starting to become a very strong creative hub and that will position the country also like on the map for MENA to attract uh, new players, new creators and uh, make it a, a prime destination for Metaverse users as well. All right. And what else can we expect from the Sandbox in the next recent months or, or quarters? Oh, many things. Uh, we are we just opened self-publishing. We have 200 uh, experience live already from creators, from the landowners. We hope to have 1,000 by end of year. Uh, on November 3rd in Hong Kong, we will be running for the first time our Global Creator Days, where we'll have a lot of studio in our ecosystem showcasing what they are building. It's a whole day dedicated only to Sandbox wow. announcements, workshop for the community, for the creators. There will be uh, a lot of landowners, a lot of partners, and, uh, and uh, rewards and merchandising and surprise. So uh, I invite you to come if you're in Hong Kong for Hong Kong I Tech Week or Fest <laughs> to come and visit and see what's happening at the core of this ecosystem. And then for next year, we'll keep improving our, our product. So making new make game maker that will make a lot more multiplayer possibilities uh, for creators. And down the line, mobile is coming yes. uh, by next year, which I think will keep attracting more and more agencies in general, allowing them to play from anywhere. Yes, definitely. That's exciting. And since we are at the Future Blockchain Summit, I do have to ask, how do you envision the future of blockchain looking like? What kind of world would you like to live in? Well, you know, I'm part of, like, I'm the president of the Blockchain Game Alliance. I'm a member of the Open Metaverse Alliance. I do believe, like, there is no future where, like, blockchain technology isn't seamlessly integrated in gaming. Like the future of gaming is all about user-generated content. People making their characters, their levels, expanding their favorite games. And to support that and a real digital economy, you need uh, like technologies that ensure that creators own their content, that they get the rewards and the royalty for the content they created and that is being sold and exchanged among users. And so far that is blockchain technology that provides yeah. that. So the tech is there and maybe it's more of a Yes, content and, uh, generation content, problem, right? You always need three aspects, the technology, the content, and the ecosystem. And I feel like it's just five years into building an ecosystem and we've achieved a lot. So it, it keeps going on. The quality of game, the fun in games play is rising. The interest of like major Web2 actor as well as new entrant is rising. So a lot of positive signal aside like from the financial markets trends that is anyway not related to crypto only but the general world context right now economic context that makes like overall a lot of positive signal for this industry all right well thank you so much for your time today sebastian i learned a lot <laughs> thank you very much enjoy the rest Hopefully of the see you in the metaverse or yes. in hong kong see you in the metaverse Absolutely. we'll do it the next interview in the metaverse <laughs>